Hello, so here I'm playing against Nyx Nocturne, Nocturne, which is the Pokemon I guess. And he's using this kind of um, deck based on those two little Sparcasters, which inflict damage and gain life points and all that. Like this was the one what gains life points. And I'm using some of those Red Eyes Hieratic deck. And the deck's pretty cool. Um, we had a first game, which is kind of cooler than this one, because um, the way I finished was by reborning Red Eyes and then using Inferno Fire Blast, which was a pretty cool ending. But yeah, this game's pretty okay. Um, the first game I opened with um, all of the Chaos Monsters and um, Gores, so I kind of had a... Like, I needed Hieratics, but, um, you know... I didn't even summon any of the Chaos Monsters, but Gores sure helped out. But here I open with 3 out of 4 of my normal monsters. And not much I can do, so I just have to, I pretty much have to duck all the field there. And then, um, yeah, so here I draw, I didn't use my seal at first because I wanted to see what I could draw first. Which I think is a good idea, so I'm going to go ahead and get Tefnut. Then I can go ahead and tribute it for Sue. And that's gonna be okay. So go ahead and summon Sue. And then definitely will summon um, what tail. I could have um normal summoned the red eyes there. I mean go into a rank seven, but you know, I didn't really see the point. So instead I go for a Tum and then I go for my Galaxy Eyes play. So Galaxy Eyes is summoned with zero attack and zero defense. And then I can attack and then banish it and then they'll both come back at the end of the battle phase. Um I the thing is I believe when Galaxy Eyes attacks the face down and uses the effect um on Dev Pro, um they did it face down. So um I guess I shouldn't really know that that's a mystic tomorrow. But oh well. Um, soft gene for the win. But yeah, I forget Atom can attack, so Atom just sits there, does nothing. But we have 3000 attack galaxy eyes. He sets something, so I'm just going to get rid of that. I assumed it was an anti trap card, because um, that's what most of his uh, traps have been, what I've seen so far, but is it instead of Magician's Circle? And that card would have been dead at the moment, so oh well, better be safe than sorry. So I use a term to get out Red Eyes, and then Red Eyes can summon a Hieratic from my graveyard, so I can then special summon um, ne 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 the yeah, that one. So that gives me a summon, and then here I search the deck, kind of hoping I can find a level 5, like Curse of Dragon or something, but then, you know, there's obviously only one left. So I go for red eyes, and then, you know, there's nothing to exceed. I got a uh, level 10, level 8, level 5, and level 7. So I distribute the red eyes and the uh, hieratic to summon my other red eyes, and then I just special summon the third red eyes from my hand. And then I decide to go for big eye and take away um, any chance of him special summoning some monsters, even though he could attack into it. And potentially get some pluses there, but I take the risk. So I take control of the tomato, and he said his name is Steve. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take a good good care of him, and I overlay for Gaia Charger, Gaia Dragon, whatever, and I have enough damage to get uh, 7,000 damage in. So not quite enough for game. And I was kind of, like, this is what usually when people top deck dark hole or if he had it already who knows but uh, no such luck and he decides to give up there oh well spoilers he gives up there and that's the game really the deck's really cool and you should definitely try it out and once again I'll put the sort of picture of the deck in the end so you can make your adjustments too obviously 
Um, Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.